Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Duran Mill deck in Expanded. Yes, we're going to be looking at another Expanded Rebel Clash deck, much like the Ladio Stonk deck. But this time is Duran Mill, which actually now has uh, Curse Shovel, which is actually a pretty good card for the deck. It allows you to mill two extra cards when Duran gets knocked out, or Mew, which is actually really good. So this allows you to effectively mill six cards with this deck. Uh, which is pretty cool so the curse shovel might be a great new partner for Durant. it might give Durant more legs in the expanded format uh, before we get the video i do want to thank you guys for all of the supporting kind words on yesterday's video um i read through all the comments and uh really just all the comments you know kind of did cheer me up um and you know every day i'm healing i'm getting better recording videos has actually proven to make me feel better too and um uh, so I want to thank you guys for all the comments, the PCO community, the Pokemon TCG community in general, guys. It's a great place, and I'm glad to be in it. So, yeah, before we get the video, shout out to our sponsor, Cargaman TCG. If you guys are still looking for any PCO code, guys, get them over at Cargaman TCG. Um, of course, guys, if you have any codes laying around or cards laying around you want to trade in to Car Cabin, you can do so. And if you do, um, you, they give you some in-store credit or some cash for your codes or cards you trade in. And of course, guys, you're still looking for PCO, like, pack codes, like Rebel Clash codes, team-up codes, and Broken Bonds codes. Um, Unify Minds codes, whatever pack codes you're looking for, you can head them over to Carmen TCG and get them there. If you're looking for any certain GX codes or V codes, or maybe you want to pick up the Picarom or Reshizard Battle Arena codes that just dropped, which, you know, the Picarom has the four Drachi, so if you guys are looking for those and they're in stock at Car Cabin, you can pick them up there. And if you do get the codes, guys, use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. It supports the channel, helps yourself out, and supports Car Cabin TCG a lot, too. So shout out to Car Cabin, guys, check them out and use code LDF. So. Let's take a look at our list here. So I built this the other day and I was like, yo, Durian with Curse Shovel might actually be a really cool combo. Now, Durian Mill has never really been super amazing in Expanded. It's pretty good in Legacy, um, but Legacy doesn't have Mew or Curse Shovel. But in Expanded, Curse Shovel kind of makes this deck a little bit stronger. Again, it allows you to mill a couple extra cards with Durian here, which is good. So obviously the whole strategy of the deck, you just get four Durians in play and you spam Devour for a single energy. I am playing the Mew engine uh, because I like using Mew to copy Durant. Mew is kind of flawed right now. People do play Garboder, Alolan Muck, and Silent Lab. They're all pretty popular. Uh, so there's a few decks that Mew won't work in, but when Mew does work, it's really good. Um, and obviously you don't lose a Durant when you use your Mew. And that's all we have is just Mew and Durant. Uh, and we have a lot of balls here. We have four Nest Balls, four Level Balls, one Quick Ball to find our Pokemon here. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get Durance in play, and we're just trying to mill. We go into the items now. We'll talk about each one. Uh, I am playing Countercatcher to try to trap stuff, uh, so we get extra turns of milling. I am playing Dow's Machine to get back an item. Now, I am playing Enhanced Hammer. Uh, the reason for Enhanced Hammer is if we're playing against a Special Energy deck that only plays Special Energy, uh, we can Enhanced Hammer their energy away, and if we end up devouring away even more energy, we can run the amount of energy that way, and it makes it hard for them to attack. So I really like having the Enhanced Hammer. Helps us a little bit against stuff like Alternate Cosma. Uh, now, I am playing two Lana's Rod, Two stretchers and one super rod. Super rod to get energy back. The Lana's rod to get back a Duran and also a cursed shovel. And the two stretchers to put a Pokemon back into our hand. Because one of the main problems with just playing, you know, four rods uh, without the stretchers is you can't get the Pokemon back into your hand and back into play. So you have to play the rods to do so. So that's why I am playing two stretchers. But the rods can get us back the cursed shovel, which is why we do play the two Lana's rods. Uh, I got a bunch of ball searches. Two Professor Letter. Uh, we are playing the Clay Engine in here um, a little bit. We do have a lot of other supporters uh, because, you know, we still want to draw cards. Clay is not going to draw us all stuff we're looking for. So we do have a couple extra draw cards. But we are playing a lot of items. Uh, I got four Trainers Mail. I am playing some Trick Shovels too, just to mill an extra card. Uh, I would maybe, you know, if you have room, you can throw in a couple. Now, I don't play Rotom decks in here or Galadian. Kind of regret it, not going to lie. Looking back, maybe I should have put a Rotom decks or Galadian in the deck. So definitely, you could try to figure that out. Got four Via Seeker. I actually like the Via Seeker Clangin a lot, because if you do Clay and get rid of, like, an Ener Juniper, uh, you can Via Seeker for it back later on down the road. I got two Mount Coronets to get us back Metal Energy into our hand, and it's also a Counter Stadium to Silent Lab. I am playing one Bella Bella Bryson Man, a very powerful card, because it allows you to mill even more cards. So effectively, you're milling nine cards, maybe even ten cards with Trick Shovel. If you get everything maxed out with, you know, how the combo works, you can mill up to ten cards. I got four clay, of course, for kind of the engine in the deck to get items. One chorus, uh, one end, three juniper. Again, just draw cards. Really good stuff to have. Uh, just really good to be able to just sometimes draw. Sometimes you don't want to do clay turn. You want to just dump your hand and get a better hand. Uh, I got four curse shovel, of course. Uh, no life do. I've opted just for the curse shovel engine and six metal energy around the list. But yeah, this is my Durant mill deck and expanded with curse shovel. Uh, the deck does gain some new legs. So let's go try it out and see it in action. All right, guys, let's get into a match with our Durant deck here. We're up against Ernest here with what looks to be a possible Mewtwo deck which will be interesting now the only thing i'm scared of when i'm playing against mewtwo 
ultimately is any spread attacks might have. This deck loses pretty badly to spread decks because there's nothing you can really do about it. But uh, we do get that nice clay turn one. We have two Durant searches, which is good. So we'll have to see here how this goes. Our hand is not bad. The clays are good. And okay, so they're playing, it looks like a Malamar deck. So hopefully they don't expect me to be playing a Durant deck here. So maybe, I mean, they are going first, so they can't really play too many cards, but we'll see if they play a lot of cards here. I mean, if they are playing Scoop Up Net, okay. They're not playing a Donk deck. I was like, oh, oh, but the Scoop Up Net doesn't really Donk anything. There's a lot of really cool possibilities with Scoop Up Net and Expanded, by the way. So I have quite a few cool deck ideas with Scoop Up Net in the future that I'm going to definitely try to make videos on. They might be playing uh, Baby Bull Cephalon, but that's not really a huge problem for us. There's only four damage counters, and we're never going to knock out stuff, so it's not too bad. The Malamars could be really good bait for Counter Catcher 2. Alright, they just pass. So I guess their card in their hand is like a Research. Ooh, that was a good draw. Um, so let's just get a bunch of Durants and play. We also could technically get another Mew, but we're just, we have to go triple Durant. We want a mill now. We could discard energy for them, which is the only thing I'm kind of worried about here. Let's go for that clay. Mm, we didn't get a draw supporter in the discard pile. We also didn't get a cursed shovel, which kind of sucks. But we are going to get the quad ant. We're also going to be able to get another Mew into play. That's most of our level balls gone though. That's fine. We still have Nest Ball. And let's go devour four cards. Let's see what we get rid of. We got rid of three energy and an end, which I actually don't like because I wanted to get a better hand, so that end kind of sucks. And I didn't want to get rid of any energy. I, I kind of figured we would, though, but I didn't expect three of the four cards to be energy. And again, we didn't get the Curse Shovelon, which really sucks. Now, there is a chance they don't have a supporter. Um, they might have a Seeker, and maybe they'll end me here. I got a double Malamar rip, and that one card in their hand might be a draw supporter. We'll see if it is. Really wish I had a cursed shovel on my Mew right about now. If they have an energy in their hand, they can just actually just flat attack. They don't need a supporter because we got rid of three energy for them, which is pretty bad. This is a good chance we're going to get wrecked here. Alright, hopefully that last card in their hand is a dead card so we can get another mill in before we get knocked out here. Yes! Nice. I'm not really drawing very well, though. We're gonna have to play another clay here and hope for the best. We can get like a Via Seeker and discard like a supporter, which seems good to me. Um, okay, that's not bad. We got the shovel, which is good. We got a trick shovel. We got both shovels. Uh, see what we get rid of here. Yeah, that's going in the discard pile. Yes, please. Got a professor's letter, which we can definitely play too. Get some energy and play here on our Muse Endurance. I mean, we're chilling. We can just go for the Devour. Mill four more cards. And nice, we get rid of, it looks like three supporters. And we got rid of an energy. Um, and we got rid of two supporters. That's still better than nothing. And oh, they drew an energy. That's fine. They knock me out here. The Curse Shovel activates, unless it's a Field Blower or a Faba. So Lysander. Okay, that's ideal for them too, I guess. We do have Stretchers, so it's all good. Don't really care too much. And yep, knockout. So they have to figure out where they want to put this damage counter. Um, I don't know if they'll ever run out of Shadow Impact. If we played Life Dew, we could troll them by making them go through all their damage. But yeah, they're going to hit the Malamar. So they're down quite a few supporters already. Uh, let's see, we draw another Nest Ball. That's pretty good. But we're going to save that. So we're just going to stretch her back the Durant here. We're going to save the Nest Ball. And yeah, I think we're just going to go for the counter catcher on the Malamar and hope that it's trapped for a couple turns. And we're just going to devour once again. And we get rid of more outs to supporters. Lele, and they play Silvali, so that's good too. They're down three Junipers. Now, they could draw via Seeker, which could be scary. Hopefully they stay trapped a little longer though. I don't know if they had any energy in the discard pile that they could have used, but they should have done second recharge last turn. I mean, they probably didn't expect the counter catcher, though. Okay, nice. It looks like they're trapped. I don't think anything can get grabbed here with Battle Compressor that can save them. So this is really good. And playing that Battle Compressor also helps me, too, because it's taking more cards out of their deck. 
Uh, they might still have a way to get cards back with Stretcher or like a Rod or something. We gotta watch out for that, I guess. But it's looking pretty good right now. We have the uh, Cursed Shovel on, and they're in top deck mode with a Malamar trap in the active. I don't know if anything could get better, right? So we're just gonna keep doing Devour. And nice, we get rid of a Field Blower and two Via Seekers and a Mail. All good cards. That Field Blower might be their only Field Blower too, which is really good for us. So that means we might not ever have to deal with a Field Blower getting rid of our Shovels. So let's see if they top decked anything here. They have 22 cards left, which is, I mean, that's pretty hard for them to actually win at that point, I think. Another turn where we get to mill. We're just going to keep doing Devour. We're not going to bother playing anything else. We're just going to keep doing Devour here. Ooh, we got rid of a Switch, another Supporter, and could have been pretty bad because we do have a pretty big hand here. Okay, they might have two Tapu Lele in their deck, which they do. Okay, but they've... We've gotten rid of so many supporters. Like, I don't even know if they have much to get back. Let's be honest here. They could get another Guzma. I don't know if they play two, though. Yeah, they have no supporters left. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the, yeah they just concede. There's, like, no way they can win at that point. Pretty much. Like, it's impossible with how much mill we can do. Oh, my gosh. That was lit, dude. That counter catcher. We were hitting some pretty big mills, bro. We were getting rid of so many good cards there. That was pretty nuts. We got 233 coins, which means we can buy a pack of Undaunted from the shop. Because, yes, I'm not going to be stopping buying Undaunted packs. Because, once again, I'm trying to get the Legend pieces from Undaunted. So, we'll open it up and see if we can pull anything good. Yeah, the Durant deck played pretty well there, though, for sure. Might want to bump up the Professor's Letter count. It's really the only change I might want to make to the deck. Um, after that game there. And, ooh, we got an Umbreon Prime. Not a bad card at all. See you guys in the match. All right, guys, let's get into another game with Durant Mill here. We're up against a fighting deck. Oh, this could be tough. Uh, we don't have Mr. Mime in here. We have no bench protection whatsoever, which could actually prove to be really bad for us. Allows my opponent to take mobile prizes in a turn. Not ideal. They are going to go first, which is good for us. We do start with just a lone Durant. Uh, we don't have a supporter. We do have a trainer's mail and a mulligan, so that's going to be good to help us out. We could also trick shovel our own deck. I don't know. I think we just trick shuffle him. So it is a fighting deck here with Kali and Center Lady. Interesting stuff. Um, okay, Mew's a good card. Machamp Marsha. That's not a Buzzle or Landris, which is good. That's what I'm scared of, is my opponent getting one of those down. And they just pass here. There's a Shovel. We'll take it. Speaking of Shovel, uh, yeah, we'll just mill my opponent here. Get rid of a Charon. Great card to have in people's decks. I don't know what we're up against. Ooh, we prized a Durant. That's not good. Let's play the Trainer's Mail. There's a Clay. We'll take the Clay. We'll play it. And all right. We do lose a couple Mews, which is a little awkward. But we do have the Triple Ants here, which is good. We can do another Level Ball. Did we get rid of a Supporter there for Via Seeker? We did. So we have a Juniper in the discard now for Via Seeker. And we'll just Devour. Eat up my opponent's deck here. Three cards, unfortunately. We get rid of a Reggie Rock and a Mewtwo. I don't know what we're playing against. <laughs> I have no clue. Are they can knock me out if they get Diancy and Strong Energy. Uh, hopefully they don't get a Field Blower just to get rid of my Shovel because we want that Curse Shovel to stick. Okay, they do get the Diancy though. We only have three Durants to work with this game, unfortunately, which might be a little hard to win, but I mean, my opponent's just gladly thinning through their deck here, so maybe it's not a big deal. This could be a close game, though. It doesn't look like they're going to get a prize this turn, which is good for us. The less turns they take prizes, the better. Uh, I think we just do Devour. We can kind of just chill out with our hand here. Just Devour them once again. We get rid of an Energy, which is good. The Strong Energies are really important to get rid of. They are going to take a Knockout here. Which is fine. We get to mill two more cards with Curse Shovel. They're going to keep thinning. Please don't get a Field Blower. Oh, that'll suck if they get a Blower here. I got a bad feeling about this. Does Lana's Rod allow us to get back the Curse Shovel, too? Because I'm hoping Trainer's Mill can get us a uh, Juniper. RV a Seeker. Alright, Karina, do not get them a Field Blower. I hope they don't play Blower. I really don't want to lose. Okay, good. They get a Switch of all cards, which is actually smart because we can't trap Diancy, which is unfortunate. Alright, we're milling two cards here. Get rid of two more energy, which seems good to me. This is where things are going to get hard. Can we mill 30 cards that quickly? I honestly don't know. So we'll have the stretcher here. Oh, we have a Mew in the discard. That's right. I was like, what am, what am I saying? All right, we're going to play this mail first. Uh, there we go. We get a Juniper. 
Perfect stuff. All right, we get Lana's Rod. Get back a Mew. Definitely get back that Curse Shovel and Juniper. All right, we got an Enhanced Hammer here. Uh, we can't play it right now. We do have the Counter Catcher. We know they have a Switch in their hand, though, which kind of makes it useless. So we're just going to have to do Devour for three again. Uh, we get rid of a Brooklet Hill and a Rock Guard. And there's an energy going on the Tauros GX. That's not good. And there is the Hunter Blows Impact. Game of two cards. They have 24 cards left. I don't know, man. This is going to be a tough one. All right. Well, Lana's Rod. And we'll play Clay. Try to get a shovel. Mm, there we go. We got one. Got two, actually. We can also get the Mew back. Maybe I should put Rodom Dex in this deck, too. Low-key, I want to play this Counter Catcher, but it's like I know they have the Switch. But maybe there's like a small chance they don't play the Switch. Plus, we want to avoid an N or something. Let's play the Coronet, get those back. Get an Energy on the other Mew. And we'll just go for the Devourer once again. Lysander's gone. That's actually not bad. And they got 20 cards left. They have a switch, I know, but who knows? Yep, they play it. Dang it. I was hoping they would not play it, but who? you never know. Unfortunately, guys, I don't think we can win in time. Th they have to play more cards here. Ugh, they play around the shovel, which is not good. Uh, yeah, this is not good. I feel like it's impossible to win. I don't think we have enough Pokemon left. We Okay, we drew a Blubla Bryson, man. Maybe there is a chance. That might actually speed up this process a little bit. Maybe. Alright, let's play it. Alright, we didn't lose anything too important. That's good. So I guess we just have to keep playing Blah Blah Bison, man. That's going to be our only way to win, it looks like. I probably shouldn't play that because of the end, but I just want the energy back in case we get counter stadiumed. All right, let's go Devour here for three more cards. This is going to be a close one. If they have another Lysander here, which is very likely, we might just lose. Because I feel like we need this Curse Shovel to work. If this Curse Shovel works, I think we can win by just keeping up with the Blah Blah Bryson Man. So, we got to hope this Curse Shovel works. We got Okay, nice. It works. And we get rid of two more cards. Nothing too important. They have 11 cards left. Oh, if only we had that Durant. Gladian should probably go in this deck, to be honest. All right, we drew Trainer's Mail. How many Pokemon Shuffle cards do we have left? We still have a few. I'm going to try to get one of those so I can not deck out. Okay, we got a Trick Shovel. That's good. The trick Shovel is one extra card. I guess we can never deck out, right? We can always end into a better hand. Okay, we got a Rod left. So we did prize a few more shuffles. So we're just going to have to keep going blah, blah, Bryson Man here. It's going to have to be to play. Mill three. Don't lose anything important. Yeah, it looks like we are going to win this. If they knock me out, we have game next turn. Um, I think we... Yeah, we literally have to hope that... Yeah, we win next turn. Never mind. We win. We have game. Unless they put cards back in their deck. That's fine. They can knock out the Durant. We still have game. As long as they don't put anything back in their deck. Mm, there we go. That was a pretty close game. I forgot we had the Blah Blah Bryson, man. Probably should have remembered it a little bit better, but... It's all Gucci. It's all good in the hood. It's going to be a Seeker for the Bella Bella Bryson, man. We're going to play it. And we're going to win. That's going to be game with the, the Mew Durant deck here. My opponent didn't really seem to be playing the most amazing of fighting decks, but... Still, though, that was a very close game. That, like, came down to the wire. Uh, those gusting cards really did hurt me there, as you can see, getting around the Curse Shovel. It's not the best answer, obviously. Life Dude might be better than the Curse Shovel, but as you can see, the Curse Shovel is still pretty lit. Okay, let's get into another match with Durian here. We're playing against a deck with types, once again. And uh, we'll see if we can go second here. Ooh, we lose a coin flip. They might make me go first, which would be bad for us. And they do, unfortunately... Um, I don't know what they're playing, which is kind of an issue, and considering we have low HP Pokemon, this could be pretty bad. We do have, like, 
a pretty good amount of outs of finding extra basics though, so hopefully we can get there. We do get double Mew, which is good. That saves us. I don't think they're playing a Donk deck, so I don't think we have to worry about that. But I don't want to lose my Mew so early. Alright, let's see what they're playing here. Could draw a couple extra cards. That's fine. That's more cards. They get we get to Mew? Alright, they're playing a Mewtwo deck. Alright, well. That's kind of tough. Uh, we're going to shovel the Mew, and we're just going to have to pass. There's not much else we can do here. Uh, we're going to shovel the Mew in case they do somehow KO me. They actually could win, I think, with Marowak. Um, yeah, and a little Marowak, I think, would win them the game. There's not much we can really do against the Mewtwo deck. I mean, we can mill them, but there's a good chance they have a good amount of outs to countering me. Uh, if they play any spread cards, we're pretty much goners. We're probably going to lose here if they just get an, a, a little Marowak. I think they can lost Boomerang me for game. We'll see, though. If they're playing the Gardevoir version, too, where they can use Giratina over and over again, they can also just knock out my Durant on my bench with, like, Distortion Door, so... I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this. We just gotta hope they're playing, like, an unconventional expanded Mewtwo deck instead of something like Mewtwo with the crazy... But they might have tricks up their sleeve, too. Who knows? Maybe they're playing Bird Tree or something. There's not much we can really do in this matchup. We just gotta hope they don't have anything too crazy to counter us. That's pretty much what a matchup... Like this is going to come down to. They're thinning their deck quite a bit here, which is good for me. And Jirachi is definitely a very interesting card to see and expanded. You don't see much of Jirachi and expanded. That is interesting for sure. We'll see if they get the knockout. They had fire in their deck, um, but it's Charizard it looks like. It still could be Marowak though, so we'll have to see. I am kind of scared of that Marowak coming in and messing me up. We'll see if they have anything. We gotta hope this end gives us a good amount of Durant too. At least three, if not four, which probably won't get. But hopefully this end can get us into a good amount of Durant so that we can start devouring. We'll see how that goes. All right, there's a Battle Compressor. And it looks like they are gonna play it here. Let's see if they get rid of any Marowaks. Cause I'm pretty sure the Marowak wins in the game. I don't know if Marowak hits the active though. I'm pretty sure it does. I've never played the card before, but I know it does 50 damage to two Pokemon. Okay, no Marowak gets discarded, which means they probably don't play. This is actually more of a standardized build. Charizard, Sogaleo, and Incineroar are all cards you see in the standard Mewtwo decks. Oh, he's playing a Welder Mewtwo deck. Alrighty then. Good to know they have 33 cards left in their deck. And they are going to get a knockout here. We are going to be able to mill two cards though, which is pretty good for us. Yeah, they have 30 cards left. So they're going to have 28 cards left after they knock me out. Never mind, they're going to go even lower. Now, there's still a good chance they play Espeon Deoxys. We just, I guess, pray they don't have it. Maybe we can win the game after all by just going through the motions. They play Zigzagoon. That's not really going to matter. Unless they play Quad Scoop Up. If they have four Scoop Ups in their hand, somehow they can definitely win. They have a Shaman in their hand, I think. Yeah, they have a Shaman in their hand. Let's see if they knock me out here. Okay, they're going to switch. I actually don't agree with them playing that because that's an, uh, that's a one less switch they have to work with. They're going to shame in. Yo, what are they doing? Unless they're trying to dig for the win, I don't think it matters too much. Um, Unless they have Marowak, which they would have discarded by now with Battle Compressor. I don't see why they wouldn't have just gotten rid of it. What are they doing? Dude. Yo, unless they have some crazy plan, they are just completely playing in. They have, bro, they're going to have 20 cards left going into my first turn. That's nuts. Okay, maybe they are digging for the Zigzagoon Donk here. I don't know. I don't think that can work, though. I mean, I don't know. They're flat out going to have less than 20 cards left in their deck. Okay, this is good. If we survive the turn, I think we're going to be on course to winning as long as we don't whiff Durian off of this end. I don't know if I want to play the, the Lana's Rod. I mean, we should, but at the same time, it clunks our deck up. I mean, if they have Espeon Deoxys, they can win that way, too, but it's looking pretty good right now. I'll say I have like a Pokemon catcher. Yeah, they're gonna go below 20 cards here. Seems good to me. What do we get rid of there? Little Pony Jigglypuff. I mean, we gotta watch out for maybe Puffy Smasher too. Hey, the Durant top deck of Destiny. Yeah, I'm not gonna play the Rod. I don't wanna clunk my deck up. And just like that, we get Quad Durant. Oh, we put them. Oh, I. <laughs> Look at that, we put them below, we put them up above anyway, side. So we're probably gonna have to give up a Durian here next turn, but that's fine. We have a pretty good hand here. We got that quad Durian off the end. 
put the shovel on. They might have a Lysander. I don't even know they played a Via Seeker yet. But we're going to go Devour here for four cards. We get rid of not much. That's too relevant, unfortunately. If they have a Via Seeker, they can Lysander one of my Durians here. And then we go, I think, Clay and try to get the Rod or something. This is good, though. They have 16 cards left. I mean, it's not looking good for them in terms of them decking out. Um, this is very winnable. We just gotta hope they don't have any, like, Espeon Deoxys. They could still use Puffy Smashers to counter me. I don't know. I don't even know if that would work. I think we just gotta pray they don't have a Espeon Deoxys. Because I don't think they can win at this. They like, 16 cards left. Like, it's not looking good for them. Once we start chaining Blabla Bryson Man 2, it's looking good for us. We still have, uh, still have that Counter Catcher, maybe. I don't know. We could maybe use it on a Shaman. Maybe not. I don't know. They're gonna Welder. They're gonna go... Draw three more cards. I really don't know why they're doing that. And I don't know if they play N or anything. Okay, they do have Espeon Deoxys. They have the Psych Energy. Yikes. That's a big yikes. They have to discard it, though, which is good. Though we could mill it. But they are out of Quick Balls, right? Yeah, they're out of Quick Balls, so... There's actually a good chance maybe they can't get the Espeon Deoxys in the discard from their hand. Or if it's in their deck and we get rid of it, that's bad. If it's not in their hand, they can Battling Pressure it away. Yeah, Espeon Deoxys ain't good. And it's gonna Jumping Balloon me. I get to mill two more cards here. And we get rid of another Welder. And energy is not too relevant. And we're going to have to give up a Durian, it looks like. So let's just go Clay. Nice. We get a bunch of good stuff. We got the Counter Catcher. We might as well play it. And Nest Ball here for the Mew. Play this. What? Do we get a Supporter in there? No, we didn't get a Juniper or anything. Rip. All right, here we go. Devour. Devour and devour. No, we got rid of the Espeon Deoxys. I mean, I guess it was inevitable, but yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. They are down three Welder, though. Hmm. 70, 50. 140, 190. Yeah, they can take three prizes. So, we lose. I, yeah, unless they, like, Hmm. I think they have five cards left. The only way we can win, and they have four cards left now. Okay. Uh, maybe we can win this after all? We probably should have done the Dow's Machine, gotten the shovel, honestly. They have four cards left, though. If they... Oh, they could still win, I guess, by cross division, and then I can't mill four cards. Yeah, this isn't good. They do have the Espeon Deoxys. They can't take four prizes this turn, which is good. They can only take out two Durants, too. Which is good. 210 HP in total for three Durants. So they can only take out... Well, they could actually... They could take out three Durants with Zigzagoon. That's not good. Okay, they aren't going to do it. So they're just going to take the cross division here. They can take out two Durants. They can also take out the Mew if they want. They have four cards left. So our way of winning would literally just be to try go Quad Durant again. It's going to come down to this. We're going to lose the game if we don't... Unless they don't take three prizes for some reason. We're not going to be able to win the game if we don't take the forward mill here. So we'll see if we can pull it off. We don't have the greatest of supporters, though, to play here. We also don't have any stretch or anything of the discard. I'm not liking these odds of winning here. Uh, come on. Level ball. Hmm. We could end them, which would make no sense. So we have to go Clay and hope for the best. Okay. We got him. We got him thanks to that level ball. We got my opponent. Nice. We just go whoop, level ball. We have Trick Shovel too, so yeah. Looks like we're going to take another dub here over my opponent. I'm just going to go boom, boom, devour. And that's game. All right. And we got rid of the Ornate Rob, which looks to be their last card in their deck. Not the greatest card they want to have as the last card there. Because we would not have won the game if they Ornate Rotted. So there you go. Beating a Mewtwo deck. That was a very close game for sure. All right, guys. Getting into a second match here. We're up against a Fire uh, Colors deck from what I saw in the types. So we'll have to see what this is. <laughs> oh my gosh, for the sneezy. We do lose a coin flip. They're actually choosing to go first, which is very interesting. 
We can get a nice little double durian start here. Uh, no supporter, but Mail might bail us out. And it looks like they're mulliganing, which helps. They do have that gold cynical coin, which is worth a few packs. So they might have something crazy. Oh, they're playing a Typhlosion deck. That's not good for them. If they're playing the Typhlosion that mills, because we are playing a mill deck ourselves. They get a Cyndaquil start here. They probably see the Durant and they're like, well, can't do much about it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good hand. We got a lot going on. We can level ball here for Durant. We can get the quad Durant down. I do want to get a Mew down, though, too. I'm not going to lie. Getting a Mew in play would be good. But we are going to go for the quad Durant first. We'll play the clay. And all right, nice. We got a couple cards here. We get the Mew. We have a very good hand, actually. Very, very good hand. Uh, we can put the shovel on. We can play our own trick shovel, too. Do the opponent's deck. And hey, get another Cyndaquil. And I think we're just going to go for the Devour here and start milling away. We get rid of a green. We get rid of a way to get stuff back in the deck, which is also really good for us, too. Uh, and we'll see if we can win. We'll see. This is probably the Typhlosion from, what, Breakthrough, I think it's from. And, all right, it looks like they don't have a rare candy, which is good. Does this thing knock me out? It can, I think, yeah. They can knock me out with Mini Eruption if if they hit what they're looking for here, which they do not. So we get another mill in, which is pretty good for us. And, I mean, we're just chilling. I honestly don't really think we have to play much here. We just go for Devour. You know, we don't have to play Clay just yet. We can just Devour away. Getting rid of a Typhlosion. Yeah, so it's a massive Eruption. I kind of feel bad low-key because... We are playing Durant, and it's probably like an auto loss for them. I, I genuinely don't see how they're going to win this game. I just don't see how they're going to win this with Durant just constantly milling them here. We'll see, though. There's a Flare Destroy. We get rid of two cards off their top of their deck. Let's see what we hit here. Uh, looks like we hit another Cyndaquil, which is good. Uh, but now the fun begins. Let's see what we draw. Another Rod. All right, cool. So we're just going to go Lana's Rod here. And we're going to get the Mount Coronet in play. Very good card in this deck. And we're going to put the energy here. We're going to play another Clay. And pretty much we're just, at this point, just looking for another Shovel. We do need to get another Mew. Uh, so getting another way to find Mew wouldn't be bad. All right. No Shovel there. Can we get one off a of Mail? Looks like we don't. Uh, We'll take the Super Rod. Go for another Trainer's Mail. There's a shovel. We can take the Dow's machine and get the get another Mew. I'm fine with letting Durant get knocked out though. I'm just gonna play this too, just thin out the deck a little bit. I don't think my opponent's gonna end me, let's be honest. So let's just go for Devour. And keep chucking away. We get rid of uh which another energy recycler. Ooh, that's good. And we got rid of a Brock's grit. All good cards to see get milled from my opponent's deck. Like I just don't see how they're winning this. Like I guess they they have like a decent amount of Brock's grits. But, like, I just don't see how they're going to counter the mill. Like, they're milling themselves with their own attack, and we're milling them. Like, I just don't see how they're winning this. We get rid of another two cards. Oh, I guess they could do Flare Destroy. Never mind. It doesn't matter then on that end. But I still think we can win this. Uh, we could start getting some Bella Bella Bryson Man's going soon, too. Do we want to do the Rod, or do we want to... We could play Super Rod here. We can counter catcher the Cramorant here. They might be able to do Spit Shot. I think they're only down a couple welders. Yeah, they've only played one. They probably have another one in their hand for Spit Shot. I guess there's no point in bringing in the Cramorant with counter catcher. Um, I mean, we can just go for the Bella Bella here, I think. But we could also do Clay. I don't really know what I need with Clay, though. I think we just go for the Bella Bella Bryson Man, and then we'll put back the Mew. Uh, okay, we do lose a couple important cards there. It's not too bad. Uh, we'll stretch her for the Mew. Just so we have it in play. Play this while we're at it. I mean, do we want to do the counter catcher? We can gamble and hope they don't have a welder in their hand. Hmm. I kind of want to save the mail. I do want to get another cursed shovel, though. Okay, maybe we will play the mail try to get a cursed shovel. We didn't get one. We got a nest ball, though, which I'll take. That can get us another Durian next turn. And yeah, we'll just go for the Devourer, I guess. Yeah, not getting the shovel there is not great, not gonna lie. Uh, this might be harder than I thought. Maybe they'll run out of energy to attack Protect Okay, they mentioned the Kramer. We can counter-catcher that, then. 
We'll just counter catch that. Yeah, not having the shovel might slow us down a little bit. I think we can still win this, though. I think we can still win. All right, let's see what we draw. Quick ball. It's not bad. Uh, so we can go Lana's Rod. Sucks we don't have a clay right now, though, not gonna lie. Put the Durant into play. We'll quick ball for another Mew. And we'll just kind of catch our Kramer and maybe trap it. We can also play the Juniper here, which, yeah, we'll go for. Definitely want to try to get another just Bella Bella. And there's the shovel. We got both the shovels we want to see. We got the Trick Shovel. And we get rid of another Energy Recycler. Would have gotten discarded anyways. Still, though, that is a good card to see go bye-bye. We're going to play this, too, just to make sure in case they counter my stadium. And we're just going to go for the Devour here and see if we trap the Kramer. There's a good chance they have a Welder in their hand, though. Maybe not. We got rid of another Welder there, but there's a good chance they still have a Welder here. They got six cards left in their deck. If they knock me out, we win. But if I guess they're going to spit shot me no matter what. So I guess they can get around the Mew, but... That's fine. We have game next turn if they don't put anything back. And they concede. And yeah, that's Turan Mill for you doing its thing. I think I'm going to wrap the day's Tisha video guys here on those matches. I think all those games are pretty a good showcases of how this deck works. Um, honestly, any changes I would make probably would just be to play like Rodom decks. We didn't really get to use the Enhanced Hammers as much as I would have liked to. Um, we just didn't hit a matchup where the enhanced hammers are good because if we play against something like Zoark or something We can run them out of energy by just spamming enhanced hammer and then milling the rest of their energy away with Devour But we didn't really get to take advantage of that. So the hammers could probably get cut I do think this deck could maybe use a third trick shovel um, Maybe a random receiver could be put in here. I definitely think we should play Rodom decks too Other than that though, I mean for what we worked with we were able to win a lot of games with this deck So Durant Mill with the uh, Curse Shovel guys, is it going to be a new archetype and expanded? I don't know this deck is pretty fun, though, regardless, and definitely has some legs. Who knows? Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, drop a like on the video. Subscribe now below. We're reaching 9,000 or 8,500 subscribers. Check out our sponsor, Carcaven TCG, down below, too. Use code LDF. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day, and bye-bye.